Hello class. How are you guys doing today? Is anybody gonna answer me? Or am I gonna talk to your screens all morning? So, you're probably wondering what we're gonna be doing for class today. Um, I'm gonna begin by showing you what materials you're gonna be needing for the week. Um, so technically you don't have to begin any work today. You will have the rest of the week to complete this assignment. So if you would like to just sit back and watch tonight, that's perfectly fine. I am going to be doing my version of what the project is going to be. So you can go ahead and follow along with me and begin your own today if you have the correct supplies. Or you can just wait and watch, follow along by just watching, and then you can get started tomorrow once you have everything together. It's really your choice. Um, just know that it is due one week from today. So, we are going to need some colored pencils. Um, if you don't have any, you can get them pretty cheap at Walmart, Target, CVS. Um, yeah, these are just like the no-name brand. You can get Crayola, or you can get really nice ones. It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to be using this to color it in afterwards. So I recommend getting some colored pencils. Okay. You're going to need a pencil. An eraser. Of course, you can use the eraser on your pencil. I do recommend getting some bigger erasers so that if you need to erase a big portion, you can do that without running out. So you're going to need some scissors for this particular project. If you don't have any scissors, I can also show you a technique that does not use scissors. Then you're going to need some paper. So as you can see, this paper is shaped like a square, which is what we need. I'm going to show you how to get this. Um, so, I'm pretty sure you all have your sketchbooks by now, or I hope that you do, um, unless you haven't turned any assignments in. Then you probably don't have one yet, <laughs> but you're going to need a sketchbook. So what you can do is just take a piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to get this square. Just like this little guy here. And then we can begin the actual project. So, I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to get materials together. If you do choose to start your project today, then we're going to start. How does that sound? Great. So, we will meet back here in about five minutes or so. Now, I believe I've given you enough time to gather yourself. I've been able to reposition myself so you guys can see what I am doing. So you can see here, this is our goal. What we want to get to, and this is where you all are at at the moment. Just give you a look quick, I've already got my paper pre-folded for our art project. I'll show you how to get yours like this. Okay, so you are all at your basic sheet of sketch paper. Um, first, I'm going to cut this little fringe off. Now, my paper does not have that little dotted line that allows you to do that easily. So I do, oops, sorry. I do have to go ahead and do it myself, but well, that's okay. to stay in a straightest line as possible. Okay, so how do we get this rectangular piece of paper to be shaped like a square? I'm going to show you. First, you're going to take one of the corners of your paper. Just go ahead. Fold it like so. 
seems pretty self-explanatory. Bringing it all the way to the edge. And this is what we have. So then, we're gonna go ahead and just cut this piece off. And when we unfold it, we have a perfect square. Of course, if you don't have scissors, you can fold this piece back and forth until um, there's enough of a crease that you can tear it off evenly. So now, we need to have our square piece of paper go from this to this. You can see all of these folds. So let me show you how to complete that. So I'm going to go ahead and just deepen up this fold. And we're going to create a door hinge fold, which means you'll be able to fold it both ways quite easily. So you see you can fold it both ways now. Now we're going to do the same thing, but the opposite way. Oops. Just try to get it as even as you can. And get a nice tight fold and go ahead and fold it the other way. Okay. So now, how do we get the other folds that we see on this paper? I'm going to go ahead and fold it your scissors if you can't get a deep enough fold or a pencil and just press down. That really helps me personally. Again, fold it the other way. And I'm gonna go in with my scissors again to get a nice deep fold. we need to go is the other way. So for anyone who really likes folding, <laughs> you're gonna love this part. So we've finally gotten all our folds. So what do we do now? Now this is when our pencil comes in, finally, right? Make sure you got it nice and sharpened. You're gonna pick a certain triangle to begin with. I'm gonna begin with this little guy here. And you're gonna go ahead and draw out a design. So any design you like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Try not to make it too simple, of course. Just something you like. What do I like? I like little... Oh. <sighs> You're kidding. I say make sure your pencil sharpened and then my pencil breaks. Hmm. 
Alright, I've got to grab another pencil quick. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed a pencil that if it breaks, we can easily just pop it up. So let's continue to draw our design. I'm going to go in with some circles. I think that looks cute. Like little rocks. Or stones tumbling up. And we're going to go ahead and shoot some. lines out of the circles. And how does that look? How about we put some shapes within these squiggly lines? I don't know what shapes I want to do. Bigger circles. See, nothing, nothing crazy, but cute, right? Maybe we'll draw a little moon right here. Oh, that is ugly. See, this is when your eraser comes in handy. When you draw an ugly moon. See if I can draw a moon. Oh, that's pretty ugly. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna draw abstract shapes here. Like cow spots. I ended up not liking this moon. Shape that I went with. That looks cool. Now what? Mm, some ovals. Okay. So here's our weird design. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken it up. as much graphite from the pencil on the paper. So just go ahead and darken up the lines. So that it will easily transfer onto here. So we're almost done, and then I'll show you what we've got to do once we go over the lines. And your hand's probably going to get a little tired, because you do have to press down hard in order for there to be enough graphite to transfer. This is quite the weird design, isn't it? Okay, so here's our design. It looks like a little... I don't even know what it looks like. So 
So what we're going to do is go ahead, press down. You're going to want to grab some sort of sharpie or anything with a round end. And push. Now you can see, there's been a little bit of transfer. Probably gonna have to brush a little more. There we go, much better. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat. By going over the lines. Then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing the way across your paper until they're all identical. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some time to start if you would like. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to begin to color it in. So I ended up really disliking my previous design. I went ahead and did something a little different. Something a little wackier. Ooh. Still cute, but um, just a little better, I think. So now we're gonna go ahead and just add some color. Again, I have my pencils. So let's pick a color quick. I think I'm gonna go in with pink. I really like pink. We're gonna do this, uh, or, hmm, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we should do Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> like one side pink? Yeah, that's what we'll do. But this part's- the middle part will do yellow. Okay, so let's do that first, actually. I'm just gonna color the middle dots in yellow. So it'll kind of look like a flower a little bit, maybe. Do the left side pink on each one. Okay. So at this point, you guys can begin coloring your picture if you did decide to begin today. Of course, if you didn't, you can just relax and watch.
I'm gonna go ahead and finish coloring this give you guys a little bit of time to either relax or again continue with your art project we'll come back in a little bit I will show you my finished product and then we will bring our class to an end okay everyone I'm gonna ask you now to look up and look at the final art piece this is what I've been working on of course yours isn't gonna look exactly like this because everyone's is going to look different but I was hoping that this class would give you a general idea of um, what you want to do, maybe give you some inspiration. Again, this isn't due for another week. I'd be happy if some of you started it today, but if you did not, that is fine. Um, so I'm going to let you go now and join your next class. I hope everybody has a good day. Bye!